Mansion Monday, check it out. There's just one little square I'm stepping in, but I can step outside that and out of that. Everybody thinks they're confined to their surroundings, but really there's like a whole mansion and you're living in one room. Explore, expand your mind. Step outside the box. Stunting Saturday. We're here at Live, one of the biggest nightclubs in the world. In high school, I used to stunt, try and be all cool. I wasted willpower and I fatigued myself. Just let go and be yourself and have fun. Yeah, Ooh, that's what I'm saying. Slingshot Sunday. Find your dreams, see them, see them good. And then like a slingshot or this car, a cannon, burst, blast, and erupt towards your goal. Million, Million dollar, dollar mouthpiece, mouthpiece Mondays. Monday. Million dollar mouthpiece basically means the ability to just blab, 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 blab. And never shut up. Don't judge yourself. Unless you want to. Right. Unless you want to. Take them out Tuesday. Your problems, your challenges, your struggles, look them right in the eye. Take them out. Ah, 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 ah. Save your eyes. Bam. Ah. Here at the Holocaust Memorial in South Beach, Miami, Florida, there's some dead bodies here. And there's this amazing memorial. And I'm just grateful that you know we don't go through that. Let's contrast our lives to that, to now, and bring some blessings and appreciation. See persistency and, and commitment and sticking mm. with it and doing it all the way. Even if you don't love it the entire time, the reward is, is, is well worth it. It's yeah. well worth it. Right. Stillness keep it moving. Sunday. Taking time to be completely still will give you more will, less doubts, more peace, less struggle, more faith, less fear, more expansion, and less contraction. Get it in action. Mediocrity Monday. Andrew Carnegie says, People who are unable to motivate themselves must be content with mediocrity, no matter how impressive their talents are. So what are you doing day to day to motivate Team yourself? Tuesday. It's easy to break when it's just yourself. Even two sometimes. But when you got a whole team supporting you, you're a lot more challenging to break. Remember that when you go into big things. Wisdom Wednesday. Whatever life throws at you, Understand this, you will be able to cope with it. How do you know that? Well, we have so far, we're here, aren't we? Thankfulness Thursday. Remember a time you felt extremely grateful. Focus on it, feel it. How'd you breathe? How'd you sense it? And just visualize it and feel that for the next couple seconds. Keep George going. George and Dougie here at the Tony Robbins event, West Palm Beach. I got a question. How many times have you guys gone to an event, a seminar, read a book, learned something, but you didn't apply it? Only applied knowledge is power. Execution trumps knowledge every Fire time. walk Friday. Feel the fear and do it anyway. We walked over 2,000 degree coals last night. And the reason why, because it's an analogy, mm. to feel the fear and do it anyway. Yes. So what are your fears and what fears do you need to trample and walk all screw over? Screw Saturday. All the things that screw us in life, all the things that challenge us, turns out that they screw us into place. They're tools to help us grow. So every time you see a screw from now on, remember that. It's screwing you into place. Stillness Sunday. After a long week, take some time to absorb everything, recharge, let go, and also observe see what's coming up Midas touch Monday in your life make it your objective for all you touch to turn to gold people places and things leave them better off than how you are spring break Saturday here at Fort Lauderdale and all the spring breakers but I just got back from the Tony Robbins conference and it was about celebrating daily every single day multiple times not just once or twice a year Make sure you celebrate. Trip Tuesday. Take trips and travel because when you go to new places, it forces your brain to wake up and be aware because you're in a new environment, there's new stimulus, and you, it pulls you to the present moment. Wall Wednesday. You got a wall in life? Well, you can go under it. You can go around it. You can bust through it or go right over it. Thankfulness Thursday, so super duper grateful to be living with purpose, living with meaning and on a mission and using my skills to help others. Thank you. 
Fun Friday. Dale Carnegie of How to Win Friends and Influence People says this, people rarely succeed unless they're having fun in doing what they're doing. So are you having fun in what you're doing Sunday? Here at college where I went to school, and life is like a semester, there's different parts. Every season, if you will, is different. Be sensitive to it, get help along the way, grow along the way, and learn along the way. Moderate your carbs, eat more protein, obviously, and avoid trans fats, saturated fats, things like that. Mm -hmm. And just really learning how to incorporate cardio without feeling like you're gonna die on a treadmill. Got it. Got be it. proactive and to be on offense and to not wait for this terrible thing to happen in your life to get asked for help because you think you know it all or you don't have the self esteem to go reach out for help. Makes me sick. The fact that I win. Wisdom Wednesday. This is so simple yet profound, and it's gonna powerfully pull you to the present moment so purely, and that is this. Stop, look, and listen. Stop. Look Thankfulness and listen. Thursday. Grateful to be at the small business expo today and see so many young entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs of all ages, having a dream, a goal, and living it. Do you have a business you want to start? If not now, when? If not you, who? Shout. Saturday. Life can be painful sometimes. It makes you whisper because it's so difficult. But what I'm telling you is don't let life knock the shout out of you. Ah! Man Monday. The man Einstein says, try not to become a man of success. Rather become a man of value. So are you becoming and doing all you can to be a man of value that can offer a lot of value. Take a look Tuesday. What served me in more ways than one is looking at life through someone else's eyes, being open enough to see their experience, how they experience the world, and then learning from it, taking and testing what they have. Wisdom Wednesday. Brian Tracy says, the person we believe ourselves to be will always act in a consistent manner of our self-image. So who do you believe yourself to be and is it in power? Foolish. Friday, some of the greatest people of our era, Steve Jobs, the Wright Brothers, I can go on and on, etc., etc. They were foolish. They tested their boundaries. You test your boundaries. The best way to find out how far you can go is to go too far sometimes. Never be Self image Saturday. Be aware of the story that you tell yourself in your head. Also be aware of why you tell that story. And most importantly, Cultivate consciousness for the behaviors it's gonna make you take in the future. Seeking Sunday. Avoid any attention, approval, or reaction seeking behavior. It's childish, obnoxious, and poisonous. It's just not the ideal intention to come from. Instead, rise above that and shine and offer value like the sun. Mystery Monday. To live and enjoy what's mysterious can cultivate you to be curious and color creativity and activate all your brain. So live. You wonder. think you're going against everybody, but really, there might be a 10,000 people, you're really going against like a thousand. Here's why. Most people don't have a clear outcome. So you're not even competing with anyone because most people don't know what they want. We constantly have to make that choice about how we're gonna feel. And it's funny because this is part two of where I began. We've been up in the clouds just now talking about protecting, fighting, warrior, these are all concepts. Thankfulness Thursday. You feel that? You hear that? That's the wind. I'm grateful for the wind. I'm grateful for the air I breathe. You ever go without breathing in oxygen? Well, you stop, you'll start being grateful for it. Find Friday. Hey everybody, it's Charles Vest. I'm with the most amazing guy on the planet, and I've only known him for what? Three minutes at the beginning, and I already knew he was amazing. Here's the statement. Find something to fall in love with in the first 30 seconds. Mm. Yep. Because that's what I did with this guy. Now, I'm not in love with him, but I tell you what, he's an amazing guy. It didn't take me about a second to figure that out. Fatten upon uncertainty. Fatten upon disappointment. Fatten upon disappointment. Enthuse over apparent defeat. And invigorate in the presence of difficulties. And those four statements turn everything into a positive so I, can be I, I take time every single day to learn one new thing a day huh? uh, somewhere I read that could be reading your journal mm -hmm. that could be watching this right that could be looking at some website I've never looked at before picking up some magazine in the store every day I just right follow my curiosity information I've ever heard and I'm gonna give it to you right now if you're gonna listen to anything I say this is it John Schwartz said successful people seek 
counsel and failures listen to opinion. 